Welcome in. In this video, we're going to be giving you some games that we thought we'd really like when we opened them up, maybe saw them online, read the rule book, and then ended up not liking them so much. But before we tell you what they are, I only have five such games in my life that I was disappointed by. But Joel... I made a list of 11 games that make my blood boil, and if you like them, I don't like you. Let's get us started. First off, you all know it's coming, Blood Rage. Let's just get it off oh, the table. Wow. Everyone likes it. It's not that good of a game. It's not fun. Stop playing it. I'm going to jump in here at number five, so you proceed. Oh, okay. Number 10. I'm going to try to get through these fast here, right. but this is a game that I don't think is actually that bad. I just really don't understand why is it, it is at the scale and popularity that it is. To me, it's just another abstract game. It's okay. It's called Azul. It's not as good as everyone <laughs> acts like it is. King of Tokyo, it's Yahtzee a little better. Cosmic Encounter Duel, it's actually not that bad, but it's just not as good as Cosmic Encounter, and I was expecting like Cosmic Encounter. We well, want more. But we bad. want All right, more. let's get back to the real trash. Libertalia, first of all, garbage game. Wait, wait, Come wait. On, did you think boy. you'd like it when you played it? Though? Libertalia? Yes, because pirates are fun. I want my parrots. I want my peg legs. I want my plunder. <laughs> yeah. Number six, again, this isn't like an absolute hate. I think it's a pretty good game. I'd be happy to play it at any time, but often hailed as like the staple best worker placement game, Viticulture. It's fine. I just, it's not like this for me. It's just like this. So it was a big disappointment because I was expecting like Utopia and I got like, you know, sort of Topia. Midtopia? Yeah, Midtopia. Subtopia? Yeah. I got like Subtopia. You know, I was like thinking like Jedi Temple Coruscant, and I got like, you know, not Coruscant Orange District, but like, you know, the surface level. It's fine. I love Viticulture. It would be the temple. I know. What's well, your so number yeah. five? Wait, that was all? That was all? That, that's my six. Oh, that's my six. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this intro to the video because I... They just get I, hotter from there. <laughs> They literally were making this list, and I was like, I can only come up with five. And he went, oh, I, I might need a few more than that. Okay. I, I actually had 16. That's just the 11 I wrote on the paper. Okay. Okay. So now where my list begins, I don't feel this. I don't think I feel anything as strong as you. <laughs> but my number five. Actually, I mentioned in our positive list. We did a positive list about games we didn't think we'd it like. It surprised you how much you liked it. It surprised no, you no, how no, bad no, it no, got. No, I mentioned it in that. I mentioned it in passing because oh, okay. this game is Agricola. And I think I had, I love Viticulture. And it's like, do you want to play an even more original worker placement, engine yeah. building, card, all this stuff? I didn't like it. Like I mentioned in my positive list, I like La Havre, La Havre, La Harbor a lot better. La Harbor, <laughs> just combine the languages. <laughs> La Harbor <laughs> or the Haver. <laughs> the, the Doc? <laughs> the Hava. <laughs> the Doc. Um, anyways, though, Agricola, just, I don't know. I think it was just a little too slow yeah. churning out for my taste. So I don't hate it. I think I just had very high expectations because I tend to be a guy. Um, other than a couple of games on the list here, who when I hear a game that everyone likes, I typically am like, yeah, I see why it's a classic. Like normally I play a classic game and I love them. This one just didn't didn't land with me. Yeah, I agree. I think I like Agricola a little more than you, but it, okay. it also is not like uh, it's about where Catan is for me. I think okay. it's cool. I wouldn't be sad if we played it. I'd probably have a good time if like the right okay. group. But like it's also my I've kind of. It's not like this for me. It's just like an okay middle of the middle of the boat road kind of game for me. I guess I maybe the theme was too good. Whoa, the theme was too good. <laughs> like you're like, oh yeah, this is what it feels like to be a poor farmer. It's so hard <laughs> to build up. You want to upgrade your house? Well, good luck. Maybe in like five years from now, <laughs> you only get a harvest every couple of years because most years suck. Like it's, it's so real. Just wait for Uwe's next game, Starvation. <laughs> And Rosenberg's never been complimented on Steam before, so I probably just made his day. <laughs> He's like crying, like, I did it. I did it. All right, my number five. All right. I do feel strongly about. All right. And you know what? This is a popular game, so I'm ready to make some more enemies. All right. I Not like, as popular as my number four. It might be. I don't right. know. We'll find out. This is a game that seems to check all the boxes for me. Okay. It's got something that I like, you don't really like, and that's narrative driven right. investigation explore exciting new worlds it's got a little bit of combat style mechanics in there it's 
just garbage. It misses on every count. Time stories. Oh. I know. Come hit me. Here's the problem. It probably is all good. It punishes you for enjoying the game. It, it's got the Mansions of Madness problem. I didn't put Mansions on this list because it, um, it doesn't quite make me suffer at this level. But Time Stories is a game that, yeah, you just you take a seat over there. All they do is... Do I throw this at the fan? No, you wipe your tears. Tears of rage. Blood rage. The, the game, speaking of blood rage, <laughs> Vikings are a bad thing too. Come on, let's get over it, people. No, Time Stories, <laughs> it offers you all these exciting things to do, interesting people you want to meet, and a story to engage with. You know what it does? You know what it does? You know what it does? You lose. And it says, you want to optimize your route. Nobody wants to optimize their route through a detective, like, mystery exploration game. That's not, they made the wrong game. And I understand it better than they do somehow. All right, I'm done. Time stories. I, I really do hate it, though. I'm not, I'm not playing it up. I mean, I really... I it does. Really, it's it like really does. worst board game experiences in my life. It's like up there. I've never played it, and I feel like I've played it and disliked it as well. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I really do. All right, my number seven... Not number seven. Oh, wow. It's you do seven. have seven. <laughs> no, it's Seven Wonders yeah. Duel. Number four is Seven Wonders Duel. Um, seven Wonders Duel looks like it's going to be a game I'm really going to like. Sorry. What are you talking? It's your number one game of all time. I know. What's wrong with you? Because my heart said the wrong thing. Seven Wonders. Dude, I was so confused. I'm like, did he forget? I was like, why are you? I, like, I, you kept looking at me. I'm, like, I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> I don't know why he's staring at me like this. I'm going to be confident. Like, he must no. be looking at his positive list. No. Like, this sorry. doesn't make any sense. No, sorry. Seven Wonders. Period. Uh, Seven Wonders. I so bad like. you forgot that that existed. You only thought Seven I tried Wonders to Duel existed. <laughs> I tried to forget. No, that was really weird. I think I just talked about Seven Wonders Duel more, so I, it yeah. just came out. Anyways, so I like Seven Wonders Duel a ton. One of my favorite games ever, as you said. Yeah. Seven Wonders was just a letdown. I'm not saying it's like garbage. I have picked Taunt before and called it garbage, I think. But it's not horrible. It's just that I was like expecting a lot more out of it. And I feel like the decision making, I don't think I'm alone in this. I mean, I think it's actually higher rated on BGG, actually. Yeah, I think you might be alone in this. I don't think I'm alone in this, but I think I do like Seven Wonders less than the average person, though. I just, I wasn't that impressed. I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm not saying you're stupid if you like it. He say to me. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What's your next time? But Seven Wonders, we've disagreed on this. I also think Seven Wonders Duel is a far superior game. But I think Seven Wonders is a pretty good game. Yeah. But I get why you don't like it. I mean, yeah. you know, it adds up Because to it's me. not as fun. You know what? I want you to take that rage. I want you to let it fester. Okay. Look at them. Okay. Say, your opinions are bad. Your opinions are bad. All right. That sucks. My number four is a game that I don't feel quite as strongly about it being bad. I actually think it's a pretty good game. But it just disappointed me how it kind of played out in the end. It's another... Yeah mystery investigation game actually far more so than time stories ever could dream to be and it's a game that that's all it offers is the story and reading oh it's sherlock holmes detective consulting consulting detective that's what my first thought was yeah yeah and it feels like everything i would like yeah it really does it's super open-ended there isn't a rule book you there may be like a page of like just read the story and, and go from there so you read it. It's almost like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Like, you read a page, and it kind of offers you other pages that are other mm -hmm. locations. There are some, like, additional assets, like newspaper clippings that go along. Super yeah, open-ended. Yeah, yeah, And you're supposed to just solve the mystery. And it's fun. I think the mysteries are well-crafted. Yeah, yeah. But it probably is more so just me. I just found that it's too open-ended, where you don't really get a good moment where you maybe that's how it feels to be a real police officer but a real detective but like you don't ever like get a moment where you feel like you you've solved the mystery you just have to decide okay i have enough clues yeah and i i have now determined that i solve it so you just kind of have to pick that moment when it feels right yeah which feels really weird and then kind of the, like the dagger in the heart at the end is the last thing it shows you like the taste it leaves in your mouth is here's the optimal route if you would have gone to this page this page and this page that's how sherlock did it also, why did you make a Sherlock Holmes games where I don't get to be Sherlock Holmes? Like, I want to be Sherlock Holmes. That's I, I'm getting like nitpicky here, but I do want to be Sherlock. This game is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's actually I think it's a fine game for the right people, but for me, I was expecting like a ten out of ten, 
And it's it's really mid for me. Like, really mid. How many videos do you get to say optimal route in more than one game? That's true. That's pretty special. I only got three more chances to <laughs> say that. <laughs> uh, no, my memory of this game is we played it once, and we just kept reading mysteries and, and i i played it two or three times now but i think the first yeah. time i played we just kept reading yeah. and people were kind of losing interest and some of us were excited about it, some of us weren't but it's like oh but we want to solve every detail and we finally were like we're ready to solve the case and it was like yeah you got it right we were like we knew that so long ago <laughs> <I know. laughs> like we we figured that out and that was like yeah the solution and it almost kind of, yeah, invalidated the other stuff you did. So like, oh, we just went on for a while and overread. And then, there, yeah, there wasn't really a clear endpoint. So finally, you're just like, okay, I guess we're going to solve it. If you get it wrong, it's kind of like, okay, like that, that's yeah. kind of it. The, it's really interesting. The guy in the game store, when we got this game, actually mm -hmm. told us, he's like, what I love about the game is, I'm not making this up. Like, straight up, was like, what I love about the game is when you get done, Sherlock comes in and he's like, shows you the optimal route for the game he like shows <laughs> you how, like how you could have solved it he's like i love that and i was like wow i didn't realize when he said that how much i hate this man but like reflecting i hate him <laughs> i hate his guts <laughs> i have a mystery to solve right now oh yeah are those new glasses uh, yes okay <laughs> Yeah, I just now noticed uh, you put them on right before this video yeah. and i saw you switching glasses i didn't process that they were new they're yeah. a little rounder yeah yeah they're a little yeah. rounder they got the little a little bit of fade little, action yeah, 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 yeah. in the blue, you know? Yeah. I think they kind of help the roundness of my head. <laughs> well, there's our insecurities coming out. <laughs> my number three, my number three looks a lot worse than your face. It's actually the one game we were talking about making this list. You actually said out loud. And really? I put it on my list, but I'd already put it on my list before you said it out loud. What is it? Something that goes on your head. Hat. But it's heavier and made of metal. Anvil. That King wears. <laughs> Joe went full on cartoon there. <laughs> it's a <laughs> piano. It's either a hat or a Tasmanian devil getting smashed all by right, a All right, all right. I know what it is. Yes. Crown Bamara. Or Emera. Or want Emera. To say it. Yeah. Or like Crown of Boris. What's, what's funny though was. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Did you have an energy drink today? <laughs> no, I need one though. Okay. I really want one. Can, <laughs> I, can I get one? No, we have to finish this. Um, Crown of Emera is a game that, okay, here's the thing. It looks kind of boring. <laughs> it does. But this is actually, <laughs> but this is supposed to be games that we thought we it would like. It delivers on that promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, okay, okay, okay. So I have a thing for boring looking games. Like if a game looks like a boring Euro. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. If a game yeah. looks like a boring Euro, I'm kind of like, it's probably a really good game under there because that's why it's still selling, even though it doesn't look interesting. It's, it's counterintuitive, but you know what I mean? Like, I kind of think, oh, boring looking Euro. Like, it's probably a really solid, good game. I just found it really boring. I think I even tried when I taught you the game. I was like, well, I'm going to teach Joel. I'm going to give it a real, I'm going to give it another shot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach Joel. I want to play a little sub optimally at the beginning. So he kind of has a chance, this person learning. And you know, you go around a circle a lot and I missed down the first turn or two and you just beat me because you just kept going around the circle and you, of course, upgrade the things you should upgrade. The exchange rate's crazy. The first person to get victory points gets so many. And, yeah. But, it, but, but more so than the balance issue is just... There's four zones and two maps, which sounds clever. And it's just you go around the circle. There's a lot of things I could tell you it does. Um, it does the Arc Nova score system where when your score tracks pass, which is cool. I'm talking about like you had the two. Yeah, yeah. It does that. I don't remember it in that game for I, some reason. I think it does. I tried to forget the game. It was just, yeah, I had you a know, hope. I had a hope for an ugly, solid game. And I just got an ugly, yeah. The memory that sticks out to me is that every turn when it came, I remember distinctly, I was like, this is what I have to do. And I just, I yeah. did it. And it felt, it felt like I, there was like technically decision making. Yeah. But it felt like this is it. And there weren't fun actions. Yeah. Because Nothing I think that makes you feel good. So I just like, I think I ended up spending half the game, like basically spamming one space. And then I spent yeah. the other half spamming the other one to like, I think I was collecting resources or yeah. maybe building up production. And then I ended up like, you know, the first person to trade that. in resources is one spot, get tons of victory points. The yeah. second one, quite a bit. The third one, less. And they eventually get like hardly anything. So you're like, well, clearly I should just try to get that resource and trade it in. So I, I just didn't like the game. It's the least popular game I'm picking on today. So probably not a lot of you are upset about this, but I just didn't like it.
Well, since you're not picking on any popular games right now, here I come swinging. I picked on Agricola and Seven Wonders. <laughs> yeah, you did the last thing you said. Uh, yeah, I, 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 since you're not picking on any popular games right now, allow me to do it. This is actually a game I don't think is bad. I really don't. The reason it's so high on this list is because it came off such a high. Like, wow. I was riding a wave, and then this thing took me down to, like, a pond in the middle of Kansas. You know how flat Kansas is? Is this right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's near and far. I, yeah. And I know there, there are people who love this game. And I, re I genuinely don't think it's that bad. I, I genuinely really don't. It's that I came off of above and below... You know, I was like walking out of, I don't know, we played like five or six rounds probably above and below, right? Just kept like playing. A lot. We did it like so much. And I was like writing this like, this could very well be like one of my favorite games. The greatest series ever because there's two more of them. Yeah. I was yeah. like, and then like, it seems pretty universal. Near and Far is like the better sequel. Mm -hmm. This seems to be like the collective opinion. We got into Near and Far. And <laughs> it was just like hitting a brick wall. It, yeah. It, again, I don't think any part of it is really disgusting, like bad. Yeah. It really just missed for me. I don't know. We got into it and we started going. There's the narrative part feels mostly gone. And there's a world. Even though it should be enhanced. It should be enhanced. The world building's a little better. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the Maybe. world building is larger in scale. Yeah. But I almost feel like the world is like less meaningful than the world and above and below if that makes yeah. sense so it, yeah. it, it takes a while to get into those stories and to make it worse like you outplayed me really far which is fine but like you ended up doing the board part which i think is like where the game's really supposed to happen yeah and i kind of never got really far out of the starting area right and so it felt like I was, and then it was over i was like right I, again it's probably not that bad of a game but i think it was like i was so like elated i was like above right. and below is so good and then everyone's like near and far is better so i'm just like I, it's probably unfair expectations i was like this is gonna be it right and it was just like yeah and it's, we, like, I mean, it's like if you went and saw old faithful and you were like america and then you went and saw like the four presidents carved out of a rock and you're just like i was hoping for the same experience <laughs> yeah. can we put sprayers in their eyes <laughs> i go up every hour <laughs> like washington <laughs> <laughs> my number two i'm picking on a classic um oh is it i think older than negricola whoa wow <laughs> i should know this i think it's older it's the first letter starts with a c as in a not a s. okay that's helpful actually Carcassonne. <laughs> no. no, my number, my number two second letter <laughs> is a French town, I believe. Sic uh, Sicily. No, it starts with the k sound. Oh, Sicily. Sicily's not in France. <laughs> Kalis. So Kalis is the game. Kalis. I haven't played Kalis. Kalis. That's okay. I, I'm, I'm here to hate it with you. I, like I said, same with Agricola. I know we, every time I make a negative list, I always feel like we're just inviting hate in the comments. Like, well, you guys just don't like old games or something, whatever the trend is. Well, that's not really true. We like almost uh, most games that are popular. I play and I'm like, I get it. Or someone, this is the original one that does that. I get yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. Kayla's just seemed too much of a drag to get through maybe because it's older maybe my expectations haven't changed with newer games are probably all true sure. i'm sure if i didn't have other worker placement games to compare it to i would like it um i didn't like the road effect of working down that i just i wasn't that attracted to the game i could imagine myself having not played any games in the last 10 years and playing kayla's first or well maybe even 15 years now liking it more but i just didn't it's not this one isn't one that i hate though it's more that I expected so much out of it because I was like thinking about for a long time, I want to play k -List. Then I actually, I started to play it on Board Game Arena online oh. and I stopped. because so I'm like, I want the real experience oh, cool. of the board. Well, that's worse. <laughs> and then my expectations yeah. are even higher because normally I like things yep. more if I play on the board. And I was like, eh, it's okay. And the person I played it with, we played it twice in a row. I remember just being like, so you want? And they were like, no. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you want to? Uh, I was like, I was doing it for well, you. I played uh, the second round for you, actually, too. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, so Kalos was kind of a letdown. So. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Yeah. I'm sorry. I haven't played it, so I, I can't speak to it. But I want to let you know if anyone out there defends that game in the comments, I'll make sure I'm on this video flaming them for you. Okay. How dare you like Kalos? It's dummy. 
actually probably a great game. What's your number one? <laughs> My number two. When you're, oh, yeah. I, I, oh, what? Earlier. Oh, boy. I lost track, but hopefully we didn't skip anything. No, you started this time. Because you did all your games I, first. Well, I oh, started. Yeah. I, had a, okay. I had a warm up round. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So you're almost as mad as you could possibly be right now. Earlier, I told you a sneaky little lie. I said a game's name, and then I was like, oops, it is on my list. So I said, that's not on my list. But you know what? It was <laughs> on my list. You're so devious. <laughs> I know. This is a game. It comes hot off the heels of my love of Eldritch Horror and Arkham Horror. Mm. Games I like, you don't like. But I like, and I, I like the theme pretty well, too. And then I'm like, a more narrative-driven version of that, where you play it on a smaller scale with people. It seems so right. It you seems play with people as opposed the to the right. other games. Well, you're like interacting around. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like everything's so right, but Mansions of Madness falls uh. so flat. And I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll hold the rage in. Because I don't hate, hate, hate Mansions of Madness, but it has problems. It has the time stories problem, which is pretty bad. And I is hate that time problem stories. you talk about all the time? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> The Time Stories problem, the same issue. It's not yeah. as bad of a game as Time Stories by any means. Like, Time Stories also struggles, like, not having fun things to do. Mansions has fun things to do. But it is also a game where most of the missions punish you just for time. There's one in particular that really stands out to me. They throw you into, I don't know if it's a dinner party or, like, a gathering yeah. in the story. I played and they're, I like, think. it's a little, like, Clue-esque where it's, like, go meet all the people and figure out who's involved. You almost can't. Yeah. I don't, I'm not willing to say you absolutely can't with the right player count, but you almost cannot do all the dialogue options and have enough time to beat the mission. It's infuriating. Yeah. Like, go explore things, and you run out of move. You can fix this by, like, giving yourself unlimited move, but, right. again, if you're having to break the rules, then th there's a problem. It has a second really big problem. There are stats, and sometimes they just don't matter. Like, one game mm. in particular, I played, like, the strong buff character, and for whatever reason in that mission... All the combat ones were replaced with brains. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. just meaningless weird. stats. Yeah. And I'm like, why do you even, like... Now I'm just annoyed because I'm supposed to be playing this character and everything's not what it's supposed to be for yeah. the whole game. Yeah. So it just it kind of ends up being a mess. And it has a lot of elements I really like, but the only way I can really enjoy it is by, like, cheating my way through the game and changing some rules. But then if you're doing that, like, you're kind of breaking the one way the game has to make you lose, and that's time. Right. So it's, right. it kind of takes away the fun when you you can no longer have any stakes. But the stakes aren't good. So it just yeah. really breaks the game for me. And that's why Mansions is just like, a, yeah. uh, it's it's so much potential. It just doesn't yeah. work at all for me. But at least has a companion app. <laughs> You're not the only one that lied. Because earlier, I said, Crown of Emera was the least popular game on my list. <laughs> However, I don't know if anyone likes Mega City Oceania. <laughs> <laughs> no. Man, it, it's everywhere, though. Like, every shop has, like, six copies it of this game. It looks great. There's a reason they still have them on the shelf. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Actually, at your store, there were, they had, like, the pallet out there yeah. with, like, I don't know, maybe 30 of them for, like, half off. Clearly, they it can't actually, get rid of them. Actually, I, it did teach me something. Like, this is one of the first games that, like, it really clicked in my mind that if something is not damaged but severely discounted... Like, I remember um, I really enjoy Tiny Epic Galaxies. I think it's a great game. You play Tiny Epic Galaxies? Yeah. Really, really fun game. Then Tiny Epic Dungeons, I'm like, maybe that's fun, too. And then I was like, why is it Why is it $6? <laughs> why is it $6? Like, maybe it's not really that good. Maybe it's great. I don't know if, if you like the game. I'm, we're not making fun of that game today. We're making fun of Mega City Oceania because it's a stacking game. I don't mind. I, I, I think it can be fun. I was like, ooh, this is like a really interesting one. I thought it was fun because you're trying to stack stuff together. You have to reach your hand into a bag and pull out these tiles out of the bag you're going to stack together. But you also can like go for missions. You can go for like hard missions. Like yeah. It can be difficult to stack. And so some of it's based on dexterity, skill, how good you are at stacking, and how good you are kind of planning out what you have in your hand and what you can go for. Uh, I just didn't find it fun like at all. Like For the most part, you're just like, okay, so I have this mission to make an arch. I made an arch. Oh, it's on the table. I got to make it again. Okay. And then <laughs> and then you're like, I'm going to reach my hand to the big <laughs> mystery bad, bag. Man. Well, you're going to reach your hand to the big mystery bag and pull out tiles. Yeah. You might have a mission that makes you have to have a flat tile. Like you have to because you have to make an arch with support that's going to go higher. It's like oh. reach your hand to the bag, but it's random. 
but it's not because some things are like blocks and some are flat and some are big and some are small. And you're just like, yes, unless and they're some, identical tiles, that's always a bad mechanic. Yeah. And like some always. are like literally rounded and that's terrible for building up tall. So you just, so what do you do? Do you cheat? You try not to cheat, but you, you kind of have to. People can't draw for you because they don't want to give you the good tiles either. Yeah. I'll just, and that didn't find the card completing mission part of the game fun at all. And then it has just, the, the, it's one of these stacking games where the pieces are so small. Um, what's the one saloon game? Saloon Tycoon. Like the tiles are so yeah. small, like it doesn't take that much of a bump. I like Saloon Tycoon a lot more. It didn't make the list. Um, you didn't like it? I, I didn't work for me. I think I won. So it's too, I liked it was it. too annoying. Yeah, I, I had a card that made me win on the last turn of the game, which probably annoyed everyone else. Yep. <laughs> but but um, not Saloon Tycoon. Mega City Oceania just had this like this like cool. I completed this mission, but I don't know that part. I've already said it. It's not that good, and it falls over a lot. It was really disappointing. I think it just the box looks so cool. And you're like, oh, cool, a stacking game with some theme that ties in with mechanisms, and it didn't really matter at all to me. I was really disappointed. Did you ever play Sorry. it? No. Okay. I saw it on the shelf for like 60 bucks for months and months and months and months. So then it was like $18. I was like, that's such a steal. And again, yeah. I learned my lesson. Yeah. What's your number one? My number one. Appeared earlier on my list. It's Blood Rage again, you losers. <laughs> just, really? No, it's not. <laughs> that would have been such a good ending. That I should have done it. <laughs> missed opportunity there. <laughs> it was missed opportunity. You know what? I'll just do it. <laughs> Let's talk about how bad Blood Rage is. <laughs> You're number one. My number one is actually the game I like the most on my list. That I know is it's, a shocker. I know it's a weird placement, and some may even call it an incorrect placement. I'm second guessing myself as I speak. In fact. <laughs> But I'm going to move on anyways. Okay. The reason I put it as number one is because the game that came before it is, like, top for me. And this one seemed like it was going to be an improvement. And actually, the first game I played, I thought, this is better than the original. They they made it better. And after a few more plays, I've gone back. And I, it's, it's not that it's so bad. It's that there's no really reason to play it. It's Obscurio. Oh, and it's really unfortunate because I don't think yeah. it's a bad game. Yeah, I actually think it has a lot of really interesting things. But Mysterium is a game, the game that came before it. I think it's a little easier to understand in this context where you're trying to help your one player plays as a ghost trying to give clues to other players to help them solve mystery. So you give them cards with abstract art on it and they'll try to each figure out their part of the mystery, basically. Yeah. And Obscurio, how it kind of flips it, everyone's in a library together lost and you're playing a book and you deliver a clue to the whole team to decipher yeah which actually like to me kind of sounds like a really good idea mm -hmm. and on paper almost sounds better yeah but in practice you get one clue rather than giving a card that is like meaningful in of itself you get these two little arrows which they're magnets but they end up being kind of finicky and they work okay on base, but there's all these things that come up in the game that make you put, like, a filter over the uh -huh. book. And then the magnets don't work super well. So, like, literally the functional part kind of doesn't work very well of the game, mm -hmm. which makes it a little annoying to play. And if someone, like, literally like you pass it sometimes, it'll, like, bump someone's palm a little too hard. You're like, sorry. And they moved. I got to reset right. the arrows, you know, pointing to the right thing. And it also, like, rather than making the guessing more interesting, just kind of leads to, like, groupthink more. Yeah. To where you actually, you feel like your clues are less important because then yeah. people get more off. Whereas, like, in Mysterium, I think about every player at the table. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Ryan needs this kind of clue because this is what I think he'll respond to best. Whereas, like, yeah. Cassie needs this kind of clue and it ends up being so much more interesting. So, it, and also Obscurity has a trader mechanic, but I don't think it was that interesting. The point is... And the cards are round? And the cards are round. I think the art's worse. And the base game doesn't come with enough cards. I thought I was going to say. I could like... be said about Mysterium 2. But to give you a, a sense of it, in one round of Obscurio. We go through all the cards. We had to reshuffle. Yeah. Like in one round. And every player. That's pretty bad. And every player has seen every card. Yes. Is what I also noticed. Because you're giving That's a clue true. to everyone. And in, in Mysterium, you're like, you might not even see many cards. We do this all the time. We're like, oh, yeah. look at that card. Where'd that come from? You know? Like, I haven't seen that one yet. You're just going through so many and also um mysterium the expand not the expansion but other games that come after it stella and stuff oh, yeah. i believe you can take all those cards and mix them in with mysterium it's expansion yes but obscure you can't because the cards are circular and um they have That's to be true. in this little slot that you put point to so. you can even mix dicks it with mysterium i think you, you can i was going to say compatible. that and i doubted myself no no i think, I, I think you're, I mean, the backs are different but I think okay. I think you'd actually mix Dixit in with Mysterium. Yeah, you could get Disney Dixit. 
<laughs> mix it in with Mysterio. <laughs> but not Obscurio. That's why it's worse. And again, I think Obscurio is a good game. I really yeah. do. But I, I would never reach for it again. Which is yeah. really, it's that's why it's so disappointing to me. That's why it's so high on this list because yeah. like, I, it's almost irrelevant because it missed in all the ways its predecessor did better. So I just I find myself when I go to like groups, I've even played it with my group of friends, and like we played it, and they're like, Mysterium was better. Let's go back to that one. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I feel the same. I was hoping you guys would come to a different conclusion, <laughs> but they were all like, yeah, I think Mysterium was better. So it ends up being a really frustrating sequel because I think it does a lot really right. Yeah, but. I think the, there's also one thing I didn't mention. There's like an interesting door thing where you're trying to fix your door, which is mm-hmm. how the clues are done. And it's like a voting system, which is kind of how Mysterium ends, but that becomes the whole, every round of the game. That part of Mysterium and, isn't strong. Yeah, it's so actually, that part's like, oh, it's an improvement. bad, yeah, I would say. So that's an improvement, but overall, but it's a less good experience. It's a I think. much less good experience, yeah. unfortunately. Much less good, not good, not experience. But speaking of bad experiences, your day after this video ends. Wow. Well, rather than being so depressed, why don't you leave a comment below? Let us know where are some games that you thought were great and turned out to not be so good. If you're one of the people in the world that buy like a new Kickstarter every week, you'll have a lot of content. (laughs) 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 Put in the comments down below. What was the Blood Rage sequel that people didn't like? The Japan one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, don't put me on the spot. This I know it. I can I can see the box. I I can see the box too. Rising Sun. Rising Sun. Yeah, of course it's Rising Sun. Some people like it. Oh, I didn't think it was very well received. I've never played know. it clearly because because we didn't remember what it was called. Well, because it was like you hurt you hurt Do me. You once. want blood rage, but more? Yeah, yeah. Japanese blood rage. It's, it's admittedly maybe a more Japanese theme. Vikings. Call us, hook us up. See you guys in the next video.